Open the shipping box and find the long strip packaging and keyboard carrying case. Open up the long strip packaging. Gift accessories are packed in two bags. It contains screwdrivers, keycap puller, switch puller, coiled USB A to C cable, stabilizers kit. Inside the keyboard carrying case comes the keyboard kit. Daughter board, weight, and screen are pre assembled. The rest of the parts are in the upper drawer. The small accessory pack contains rubber feet, top case screws, gasket silicone pad. PCB accessory pack contains 2.4G receiver, plate foam, PE sheet and the PCB. Then, your choices of plates. Here are other tools needed, lubricating grease, brush, tweezers, pH screwdriver, scissors, switches, and keycaps. First, stick the rubber feet. Then, unscrew the 8 hex screws on the back. Test the PCB trigger before assembly. Please make sure the metal pins are facing up when plugging in the Molex cable. Open the battery switch next to the caps lock key. Download QK config. Connect USB cable. Keytest. Short each switch socket with tweezers one by one. Test if the keys trigger correctly. If there is a problem, please contact the administrator in Discord or your local vendor. The front test allows you to see the key trigger more intuitively. If it is difficult to trigger from the front, you can test it from the back. If PCB cannot be correctly identified by your device, unplug the keyboard and the Molex cable. Remove the five screws holding the internal weight. Disassemble the internal weight. Check whether the cable is fully and correctly plugged into the daughter board. If not, please unplug the Molex cable and reinsert into the daughter board. Plug the other end of the cable into the PCB and plug in the keyboard cable again. Check whether the software can detect your keyboard. If there is no problem, reinstall the internal weight. In addition to the power supply, the identification problem is also likely a result of keyboard switch to wireless modes. Install switches in the FN and tab position first. FN is the key on the left of your left arrow. Switch modes by FN plus tab to see the light under ESC flash twice, indicating that it is in wired mode. Confirm the layout to be assembled. Stick the Teflon on the PCB. Please note the positions where the stabs are installed need to be pasted. Apply lubricant evenly to the wire. Put the dummy switches into the housings correctly. Insert the wire into the second hole of the dummy switch. Then clip the wire. Cut the excess part of the PE sheet according to the layout to be assembled. Optional, put on the PE sheet. Snap the stabs onto the PCB with the screw in the small hole and the clips in the large hole. Screw in the screw with a washer. Check whether the stabs are fixed properly. If you would like to use the plate foam, put on the plate foam first then the plate. Before installing the switches, check whether the switch pins are bent. If any pins are bent, you can fix them using a switch puller. Before installing the switches, carefully align the switch pins and hot swap sockets. If you want to use the regular caps lock you need to make sure the switch is north facing. If you are using soft plates such as palm or PC plates, or if you are not using plate foam, ensure that the switches are properly affixed on the plate. It is recommended to first install the switches along the edges and corners, then the modifiers, and finally the rest. Once all the switches have been installed, test all keys again to ensure that they can be triggered. If there are any keys that do not work, check whether the switch pins are bent. The QK100 supports both gasket mount and top mount. Top Mount Assembly Method Place the PCB and plate inside the top case. Affix the plate and the top case together using the black screws. Gasket Mount Assembly Method 
put the gaskets onto the PCB. Make sure that all the gaskets have the same kind of bump facing up. The gasket has two sides with different levels of hardness to choose from. Place the PCB and plate inside the top case. Connect the screen cable to the PCB. Connect the daughterboard cable to the PCB. Place the case foam on the back of the PCB. Put on the bottom case. Tighten the screws on the bottom case. It is recommended to install them diagonally. Install the keycaps to complete the assembly.